Now, much like other um, frameworks, WebPlate takes kind of a mobile first approach. So as you can see here, I don't have any um, medium prefixes or large prefixes here yet. But if I wanted to, I could target larger screens. And I would do that by simply adding the large between the span and the 12. Now this is actually the same thing as what you see here to the left. So if I were to take span-large-12 out, it would be exactly that from the smallest screen all the way up. But since I want that in there, and maybe I want it to only go half of the containing area, or only six columns, I would just change that to span-large-6. Let me save that and refresh it. You can see here our full column has now become a half column. Half on larger screens. So span-large-6 will take on half of its containing area on larger screens. There we go. So let's look at one more example before we start um, playing around with some of the offsetting. I'm gonna have just three div.span-3 and it's going to span-3 I want three of them, actually four of them there we go so as you can see here the um, span classes or the column classes and row classes in webplate are pretty flexible let's suppose I wanted to stack all, th all four of these uh, columns on our smaller screens. Much like the span-large-6, you can add a span-small-3 and I'll do that, oops, or I just select all of these and type span-small-12 meaning I want these columns to be full width. And I can save that and I'll go back and refresh and you'll see no change in behavior here and that's because I'm on a large screen but as soon as I switch to a small one you'll see they stack on top of each other so that's just a quick intro to kind of how the column classes and row classes and limit classes work in webplate in the next video what we'll do is we'll learn how to offset some of these columns thanks for watching